Hi guys, my name is Abna Lobby Odom and I'll be taking you through the basics of branding your business. Today consumers are faced with a lot of choice and as a business you need to ensure that your product or service stays top of mind when the consumer is making a choice on which product or service to go with. So what are we going to explore? We're going to look at what is branding, how do I brand my business, why is branding important for my business, and then in the end, I'll give you some final tips on how to keep on branding your business. So what is a brand? The American Marketing Association defines a brand as a name, a term, a sign, symbol, design, or a combination thereof that is intended to identify the goods and services of one seller or a group of sellers and to differentiate them from those of other sellers. Branding, therefore, is a process involved in creating a unique name and image for a product or service in the customer's mind. It aims to establish a significant and differentiated presence in the market that attracts and retains loyal customers. Think of two chocolate bars offered at your local retail store, sold at a similar price. One has white wrapping with the letters chocolate bar, and the other one is of a chocolate that you have seen on newspapers, and TV and is branded Super Duper Chocolate Bar. Which one are you most likely to go with? The one you're familiar with, right? This is in effect an example of how branding affects your choice as a consumer. The chocolate bars may be exactly the same, but you may simply choose the other one because of the brand. It is important to note that the brand does not explicitly say buy me. Instead, it says this is what I am this is why I exist. If you agree, if you like me, you can buy me, support me, and recommend me to your friends. It is an expression of the value of the product or the service. Brands are also considered as intangible assets, which means they are unable to be touched, not having any physical presence. The brand is a special intangible that in many businesses is the most important asset. This is because of the economic impact that brands have. They influence the choice of the consumers, employees, future investors in your business, and sometimes even government authorities. In a world of abundant choices, such influence is crucial for your small business that is starting up. Even non-profit organizations have started embracing the brand as a key asset for obtaining donations, sponsorships, and volunteers. Now you may be asking yourself, how do I brand my business? First of all, you need to define your business. It's always good to keep in mind that brands have a clear purpose and to win, you need to understand that purpose and be able to communicate it to the people who you are targeting. As a start, you're going to need to ask yourself, who are we as a business? If you start a business as a retailer of artwork, you need to decide what type of artwork you're going to be selling. Will it just be paintings? Will I sell handcrafted artwork? How am I going to do this? Will I import the artwork? Will I stock the artwork locally to promote local artists? Will I create the artwork myself? Does it matter if my products are environmentally friendly? How am I different from my competitors? Defining your business is like a journey of business self-discovery. It can be difficult, time-consuming, and uncomfortable, but it is necessary to create a company identity. Secondly, you'd have to look into getting a logo. A logo is simply a, simple, a symbol or other small design adopted by an organization to identify its products or services. Now, it's important that the logo you create for your business is functional and a true reflection of what the business does. As a fish and chips outlet, it won't make sense for you to have a picture of a burger as your logo. Your logo has to be catchy, unique, simple, and easily recognizable. After this, you need to place it everywhere so when people see it, they can recognize that it's your product. Remember, it does not have to be anything fancy. Then you have to come up with a slogan or a tagline. A slogan is commonly described as a phrase or a motto of any party, group, manufacturer, 
or person. It is your business's catchword or catchphrase. HP's slogan is Make It Matter. Your slogan should be complete, emotionally attached, and show that you are reliable. Finally, you need to reinforce and integrate. Remember that your brand extends to all aspects of your business, from the way you greet your customers, to packaging, to delivering on the brand promise. It also has to be integrated into your marketing strategy. You must then reinforce your desired image again and again. The best way to do this is to create marketing materials that have the same look, feel, logo, tagline, and so on. Now you might be wondering, why is branding important for my business? Your brand is what sets you apart from your competition in the minds of customers. And brand recognition is vital in securing business. A buyer can't purchase your product if he can't remember who you are or how to find you. The best companies are those whose brands are easy to remember and are instantly recognizable. As a small business, it is likely that your offering is not unique and that you are competing with larger corporations and other small businesses. Therefore, you need to make sure that you set yourself apart. So in essence, if branding is done correctly, branding can assist your business in setting you apart from the competition, keeping you top of mind in the customer's mind, generating referrals, encouraging confidence and trust in your product or service offering. This all feeds into increased sales and can change things around for your business. Finally, I'm going to give you some final tips on how to make sure that the branding is sustainable. Remember, branding is a continuous process and it does not end when you have chosen a logo or a slogan. Your business partners are the people who you work with and the people that work for you and need to be, it needs to be a representation of the brand at all times. Also, no business is too small to start their branding efforts. Like I said before, the likelihood is that you're competing with huge corporations and that you have over the years already established their brands or even other small businesses. So you need to set yourself apart always. To keep customers coming, you need to deliver on your brand promise, whatever it may be. If you run a plumbing business and your brand promise is to arrive at your customer's home in 30 minutes of the customer's call, then you need to deliver on that. With all this, you will see amazing growth with your business. So I wish you all happy branding. Thank you.